good morning everyone what's up and welcome back everybody i'm back with another mukbang and today we got a little breakfast platter now take a look at this y'all we got some fruit grapefruit to be exact some sausage a couple waffle pieces some eggs and some more grapefruit i thought i'd come on this morning and do a little breakfast mukbang with y'all because i'm gonna be busy the rest of the day and i didn't think that i'll have time to do like a lunch so i hope this is okay with y'all but how y'all doing this morning mm. these are swaggerty sausages by the way mm, that'd be so good and succulent mm. now this jar right here this jar is magic. If y'all ain't had no homemade syrup, I don't know what to tell y'all. Y'all need to get y'all a grandma that can make some homemade syrup. It's like the perfect amount of sweet and maple leaf. Oh, and a little bit goes a long way. Shout out to grandma julie for the syrup it's actually my husband's grandma mm. grandma soaked this up with plenty jars of syrup so we sit for a while but like i said a little bit goes a long way and we got like eight or nine of these jars and this is only like number two that we've used Mm. I will be eating with my hands today because ain't no use in wasting no silverware but anyway like I was saying mm. Mm. I hope everything is going alright with y'all I had a pretty busy day today. So I wanted to get started right away. normally do big breakfasts but like I said I got a busy day the rest of today mm. so I was like it'll be better to do just a slightly bigger breakfast because I won't have time to eat lunch so then I'll probably be eating dinner super late tonight mm. and for my drink today I got some water Like I said, it's early. No. Mm. It's too early for a soda, so. Water it is. And I ain't got no apple juice. Mm. Mm -hmm. So a normal breakfast for me will usually kiss this stuff so i usually do a rotation of breakfasts so one day i might have like a cup of oatmeal like one of those small to go cups of oatmeal and it takes like a minute minute and a half in the microwave to make mm. oh the grapefruit juicy y'all this grapefruit is juicy Mm. so normally so one day might be the oatmeal cup the second day might be a piece of toast with uh with like a fried egg so fried egg on toast with some jelly or something like that 
and then the next breakfast might be like a pack of grits and one sausage mm. the day after that it might be just a bowl of fruit And then I'll throw in like a bowl of cereal if my husband has cereal at home. But yeah, those are like my normal breakfasts I rotate through. I've been loving the fried egg and toast though. Like that's like my all time favorite. The fried egg with toast. y'all favorite quick breakfasts to make like quick like under 10 minute breakfast oh Y'all know this, well, okay, it don't seem like a lot because it's like a small portion of everything. But this breakfast actually went pretty quick too, like, I want to say it's about a 10 minute breakfast because I only made two sausage. I made two, quad, like half of a waffle and then one egg that I scrambled in the pan after the sausage was done. And then just cut up the fruit. Quick, delicious. And I'm gonna be full. I ain't gonna have time to even be thinking about food. I'm finna, I'm finna get to work after this. So this will literally keep me full until it's time for dinner. And what's dinner? I couldn't even tell. I have no idea right now. Mm. It'll probably be pizza though because I'm finna get in the kitchen and be baking. And I'm not cooking any dinner. And I know my husband probably don't want to cook any dinner. So it'll most likely be pizza. Ooh. Or maybe some Chinese food. Chinese food sounds good. Some orange chicken. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Fruit hack. So for fruits that are like hit or miss for like tartness or sweetness. So for me, everybody tastes both different. But for me, grapefruit is one of those fruits where it's either too sweet or too tart so i usually cut it open try a piece and if it's too tart for my liking oh i put the pieces inside of like a bowl and then sprinkle just a little bit of sugar on top then the sugar kind of helps activate the natural sugars in the fruit like come to the surface And it be juicy. And no, it don't be overly sweet or nothing like that. When I say a sprinkle of sugar, literally like just like a pinch, just go pew and it go pew, pew. That's it. That's that's all it takes for it to be enough to bring them juices out. Like this grapefruit is so juicy. I 
use it for grapefruit and strawberries. Sometimes strawberries are a little bit tighter than what I like. So I slice them in half and then sprinkle just a little bit of sugar. And they all good to go. Mm. Mm -hmm. It might also help as well if um so like for grapefruit or lemon or oranges or limes to help loosen up the juices give it like roll it out a little bit on all the sides that helps make it juicy too <coughs> oh excuse me mm. I am ready to conquer the day now. Whew. Okay. So I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Thank y'all for joining me while I have my little quick breakfast. I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, productive day. Without further ado, I love y'all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.